so this is the California Slender Salamander, or Dr. Joseph's Attenuatus. They are the most common salamander in California, so uh, if you're in California, you'll probably have a lot of luck finding them. Um, there are different species of slender salamanders. This is the northernmost species, uh, besides the Oregon slender salamander. Uh, they're also found in a wide variety of habitats. Uh, right now, this is oak savanna, or oak woodland, uh, or grassland with scattered trees. So, um, I'm finding them here. I've also found them in redwood forest. In uh, they can also be found in arid habitats like deserts. Uh, there are species that can be found in in uh, in the Sierra Nevada mountains as well, uh, in the north 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 coast range. So they're very very versatile of a species. This is another California slender salamander. It's also a juvenile. I'm found underneath this uh, rock here. They are very good at burrowing because they're so slender. They can go into insect burrows when it gets dry um, or hot, and that is one of the reasons why they're very slender. Also, um, they can use. They have uh, many defenses. Uh, their tail can be used to defend against snakes. Um, as shown in an experiment, and also they can wiggle, they can use their tail to actually coil up and jump. Well, another thing they do is like they play dead, which is what I find is the most common, but I have seen them tail jump. Uh, they can also slither away like snakes, or they can run using their, their feet. Um, so they're very adapted to life in California. Uh, more so than other species, I think.